What's happening, guys? I'm out with James, and uh, we're fishing a new spot today. It's the first hog trip of 2023, and we're going to do awesome. We're going to have a lot of quality fish to 7 pounds. Being that it's very early, there's going to be a lot of big sea bass coming up as well. I'll have links to all the gear in the description. I appreciate you watching the channel, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Yeah. I know, that's what I'm saying. That was a good hog. Yeah. Sea bass and a tog? Two togs? Sea bass and a tog and a keeper tog. Alright. That's a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> nice, first drop. Oh shit, swallowed it. I'm building a bite, I'm getting hit right away. Oh! Oh, dude. Yeah, bro. Okay, that's got to be a tog. Yeah. This rod bends. Oh, I'm getting hit on a whole crib. Yeah, we're getting a bite going. That's why. This is definitely a tog. It's got to be. Oh, he saw the boat. I don't think he's big, though. Yeah. Oh, no, he's a nice one. Yeah. Nice tog. That is. Dude. That's a sweet one. Yeah. yeah, buddy. First tog of the season. And it's fing over five pounds. That's oh my god, it'd be almost. Yeah, it's over five. It's a nice fish. Oh man. Oh, this is definitely a tog. No, not that. No way. <laughs> Oh wow. So we're getting a bike up. Well calm down. Nice fish. Big old white chin. This one's gotta be about 20. Oh stop. Oh he's over tw 20. Yeah, this is this one's 20. That one's yeah, that one keeps. I'm gonna probably throw this one back. Oh shit. Dude, that one is pissed. Oh, reel that. So this was a quick trip. I decided to run out after work. We got out a little early. This is uh Long Island Sound, Eastern Long Island Sound, and uh it's three per man here. Oh, little guy, dude, <laughs> that was a run, man. Yeah, that was serious. If he takes another run oh, like that, another one. I, we, we're probably, probably going to get you to net. That's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Oh, watch your nice one, dude. That might be 21 inches. They're getting bigger. Yep. <laughs> Fun on that rod, right? Yeah. That's why I love that rod. It's so light, too. Oh my god, this guy smoked this one too. Both hooks. What? I love it. Yeah. Ooh. Dude, that drag is tight. For it to pull, I just heard it go a little bit. It's a decent fish. And it's on the jig. Ooh, it's a decent fish, dude. I hope so. I locked that drag down tight on that one. Oh, it's another nice one. Having never fished this area, I was not expecting to have such a great trip, especially for a trip out. Let me, another nice fish. See in the cheek? I told you in the corner, see? See how it gets him in the cheek? Yeah. That's why I love that hook. Yeah, and those hooks are the uh, 2X Mustad sickle hooks. I love the way, you know, the, the fish picks it up and it hooks it right in the cheek like a circle hook.
I'm not gonna drop right here. Oh my god, Todd. Oh, it's, it's gotta be a sea bass. No, really? You'll see on my down scan in a moment how many sea bass were down there, and they were definitely big ones, almost as big as the tog. Yep, I'm way under the boat. That's not a sea bass. It's not bopping or not, unless it's a monster. I think it's a tog. Could be a really big sea bass, I don't know. I hope my braid does not go to my motor. Big sea bass, big sea bass. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a monster. They were sea bass, that's a damn, that's a tank, dude. Can you keep sea bass? Oh yeah, that one, absolutely, look at it. it that's over five pounds. Probably a monster sea bass, another one. Cause they're all over the screen. Monsters. Not a monster, dude. This big sea bass here. Right? Holy crap! Yeah. We just fell into them. They're like this every. They're like this every year, though. Right. Yeah. It's time of year to big. Tog. Insta tog bite, I think. Yeah, his feels. No, no, no. Big monster sea bass again. Another, another keeper. Dude, they're all. Boat swinging. So a lot of my experiences, once you get into these sea bass, I'm moving around the peaks just seeing what's down there. And um, a lot of times the sea bass will be stacked together and then I'll get tired of it and move away from them and find the tog again. The tog will be in a different location. It's almost like they, they mix in a little bit, but on the outskirts of the sea bass, I don't see them when the sea bass are this thick and heavy they're not really in there with them like that they'll be off to the outside and i go relocate them again right after this yep sea bass tog, so that's good oh, nice tog air bubbles just came out of them yeah what are you doing why don't you just grab the leader he's pale though he's a keeper i think looks like keeper Ooh. Oh, whoa, yeah, bro. Yeah, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. When he sees the boat, I think he's going to run again. No? Oh, nice fish. Yeah, dude. Nice that dog. would place. Nice. I think that would place, right? That's got to be what? Seven. Seven. That's what I was thinking. That's a seven. That's, that's a nice fish. That's a seven or a seven. It's a, a, a good six to a seven. That's what I was thinking. That's a nice fish, bro. Baby. Nice dog. This is close to a seven. This is definitely close to a seven. I got him. Oh, this one's bigger. Dude. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. I think it's bigger. I don't know, it's fighting funny. It's just wait. I wonder if a foul hooked it. Or if it's not run yet or something. I find in the sound, it, you know, as long as the structure is not too big, it, it's good to fish 20 pound test. Uh, I try not to go lower than that, um, just because I've had 15 break on me with some real big fish a couple times. So when I'm rigging, I'll usually go to 30 in heavy current because these fish will definitely break braid in heavy current if they're big. Ooh. Yeah, she's, she's a good five pounder. They're chewing now because the water's moving. Oh. Oh! Did you see that hit, dude? Dude. 
This is a good one. Oh boy. No, I don't think it's a DD, but I think it might be better than that last one. Let's see if he doesn't take any runs. Did it blow its nut? Oh. It's going out. It's because of the current. Good fish. With the current. Eh. Five maybe. Good fish though. good dude that's looking good I have that drag tight too tighter than this one it's the current though yeah current in the town, I think. Ooh. you just heard James reference the 10 ounce sinker I do not like to go over 12 I refuse to fish over 12 I target my areas based upon current water flow and the right braid where I could stay down not going over that 12. Plus when it gets that fast, you end up breaking a lot more tackle and it's just not as fun. The current. Oh, it's nice. It's keeper. I was getting nibbled. Oh, something ate me on the way up though. It's probably sea bass. Dude, that had to be a big sea bass to eat me on the way up. Oh, yeah. Because that was a big crab. Oh, no, it's a tog. Tog ate me on the way up. It's a keeper. We are right on it man like right where you want to be with this kind of current look how red its lips are bro i'm chewing that's it they can't really travel with these type of currents they have a little window and that's they're done 